Is a human man? No, uh, Ralph, Ralph Ramsey is a... He's a football man, and that's, that's really all I know about him. I don't think anyone really got close to Elf. He was a bit of a lone wolf. And we didn't know much about him. We had a, a very good t team at the time. And I remember that there was uh, a lot of controversy as to whether it was a good transfer or not. Mm. But when he joined us, it was obvious that he was a good player. Yeah. And uh, he fit in into our defence very well indeed. Yeah. That's fitting in tactically, but as a man, did he tend to be a bit of a loner? Oh, he's a very difficult man to get inside of. Yeah. In regards to football, he would talk and he would talk and he would talk, but anything outside football, and I never knew him at all. But he was good at plonking it then. No doubt about that, he was a very accurate kicker. When it came to the real crunch tackle, though, in a, in a bad situation... He would do it, he would do it. Yeah, he would do it, yeah. If he had to, yeah. Did he hand it out? <coughs> yeah, if he had to. I mean, he's a professional footballer. And uh, don't matter how nice a bloke you're supposed to be, I mean, uh, whether you like it or not, when it comes to a situation, then uh, nice people don't let people put the ball in it. I remember in 1952, I think it was, touring with the England team in South America, and we stayed at a, a country club outside of Buenos Aires, and uh, Alf and I were rooming together and we hadn't been to bed an hour or so when I was awakened by a peculiar noise which to me sounded like a cricket and Alf was still sleeping merrily away and I got out of bed, looked under my bed I looked under Alf's bed, I opened the wardrobes lift, lifted the shoes from under the bed and eventually found my cricket was Alf gnashing his teeth in his sleep. He was a good footballer in a good team. Um, I feel that there came a, 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 a stage in his, in his career, the same as in mine and most old players, that uh, you get a feeling that you've come to the end and all of a sudden someone may come along and say to you, um, would you like to do this or would you like to do that? <clears throat> I think that happened to him. I think it was Ipswich who came along when he, he was probably uh, at the end at Tottenham and he, he, he took this job on at Ipswich and from there on he, he went forward. I don't, I don't know if he thought about doing it. He never said to me he did, but I remember that he, he was here one day and gone...